So, Ralph, this is this is you in oh, my little Austin Seven. In your Austin Seven. Yeah. So you'd have been you'd have been how old then? I was a, I was quite old then. I was seventeen, eighteen, I think. <laughs> First, that was my first car, and it was it was a two seater. I mean, they don't, I don't think they make them anymore. There used to be another one called the Swallow, which I could never got hold of, but I did get one of a, a, a works team car. Um, it was an MG works team car. There were three made in 1937: ABL 962, 963, and 964, and I had 964. And I, it, and it had, you know, an MG, it had those sweeping, um, on most of the cars, the sweeping uh, mudguard. And mine just had the top on, you know, like a, an arch on it, like that. And you could see the wheels and you could look out the car and, out the car and sort of watch the wheels go around, you know, like that. Which is fun for a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Ralph, what, I think you should sort of explain to people the, the, the passions you had when you were young. You, because you, you were always sort of mechanically minded, weren't you? You liked making things. Well, model airplanes it was, you know. I wanted to be a model, I wanted to be an aircraft maker, you know. And I, I got eventually to go to de Havilland Aircraft Company, then I've gone now. Uh, and I went there and I, I stayed there for uh, only nine months because I couldn't stand factory life. I just had to get out. And um, luckily, I had a, I had a brother-in-law who was a youth employment officer. And so I, 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 he got me a job working in the stockroom at Bullworths. <laughs> it's, it's, I think that's gone now too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, all that. And I fell out with the under manager. And he, he was a bully man, I couldn't, and I don't like bullies, so I, I lay into them. You know, don't start a fight with me now, please. Not because I'm going to do anything, because I'll be frightened. And I'll run. <laughs> okay. And uh, it was a, an odd thing that I went through the because I but it would explain how I because of the De Havilland Aircraft Company thing, I had to. Um, go once a week to, techni to technical drawing. And that's where I picked up the straight lines and the circles, which I have as part of my work. You know, it's, it features. And the only reason it features is because I did this. And then the thing is that the drawings I was doing at the technical college, I was told off for doing little drawings in the <laughs> side of the, you know, like so I was doing the upper reverse thing. Uh, making trouble. Making trouble. Well, it's sort of making trouble in a way, yes, but I don't, I don't think it's what I want to. I always think like backwards, like that. So talking about uh, life, this is, this is your life, Ralph. You've drawn it. Oh, that was, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I'm now. Uh, so you're, you're just about in the middle here between 80 and 88, but looking a bit am better. I? Yeah. Just about. Do I look better than that? No, I think you do look better than that. Ah. God. <laughs> so, so, Ralph, with, with your work, one of the pictures you chose uh, was this one here. Oh, that, yes. Um, Gilray was here, which is from 1967. Yeah. And um, it's an exhibition of. Um, caricatures of by James Gilray, who is yes. a very famous um, uh, English, caricaturist. English caricaturist. Yes. So um, I didn't do that. No, he you didn't do that. This yeah. is this is one of Gilray. So, yeah. Ralph, would you like to talk about maybe other people that were he your heroes that oh, influenced so you? Hogarth, of mm -hmm. course. And I did Hogarth, um, and uh, and from Germany there were German. A few no, there was Bill, uh, George Gross, of course. Uh, the America, the American. <laughs> Actually, he went to America, but he 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 was a savage um, uh, German satirist, and he worked between the wars, those wars, you know. And um, I'm talking a bit back a bit, you know, even before the Vietnam War, you know. And they, they were, this fascinated me because they were, um, 
Uh, uh, well, they seem to have some part to play in it. I don't know if it was for, to stop the war or to to at least comment on it in a way that I could understand, see that they were really good people trying to do something to help by making people cause war to look ridiculous. And I thought that was the, the idea of it all. And so I, I rather liked that kind of thing and I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I want to do, do a work as a cartoonist myself and change the world. And of course now, this all this time later, I've I've succeeded because <laughs> it's now it's now worse. <laughs> it's much worse now than it was when I started. So <laughs> it's really really done. <laughs> so there we go. So I've succeeded. So, yeah. so Ralph, this is probably um, a fairly early one. Um, from well, probably yeah. the, the, the mid 60s, so we've got hold the front page. Um, I, I think we've, we've got, got a story. story. Yeah, it's just a load of rubbish. That's how people love it, don't they? In the, the so, the, so the Sun, for anybody who doesn't know, the Sun is is, it, is the infamous tabloid paper, um, extremely right wing, and it says I don't know if you can read it upside down. It says no knickers scandal on the on the cover, and of course, the, the guy coming through the door is uh, has got the yeah. story. Yeah, we could have <laughs> Me Too on the, in there too, as well. The Me Too movement now. I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, yes. So, so I thought that, that explains it, that on its own. That, that's the marvelous. Now, that was a frame saying of Wittgenstein, the German philosopher, who said the only thing, of or the thing of real value is, is the thing you cannot say. But if you can see it, you know exactly what you're talking about. You know, you, you describe it by doing a picture. It's like telling someone, well, can you tell me where I can get to so-and-so? Oh, yes, he's got a piece of paper, he's drawing it. You go around here, turn. Well, I know, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's right oh now. We'll keep it right now. There we so that's what that does. Yeah. And then I went and did a series of pictures. I d they used to have these polyphoto booths. Yeah, you've got, it's one, there's one of that Ralph did in, in the exhibition downstairs. Is there? Mm -hmm. is, is there? Yeah. Of, and I went in what, myself to do myself that many times. And I, I kept the straight face for all of them. <laughs> and then the last one I go, <laughs> <laughs> just sort of a, just a light smile. And the queen does it too. And she, because she's got a corgi there. Oh, yeah, I can, I can hear myself now. Wow, huh. that's better. Um, it's a, well, it's a kind of a corgi dog, and then it sort of does what it does, because that's not waiting for the queen. But six of this one, please, would be the one where she's somewhere. That one, yeah, she looks quite good there, you know. And, then, and of course, they could crop it, so that was okay. <laughs> and. Uh, and so it was telling a story. I did. I did all the. I did all the politicians of the time. Harold Wilson and yeah. uh, Macmillan did the same to them with that sort of idea. You yeah. Know. So, so this, what what people don't realise is that until in the sixties, it was practically unknown to do caricatures of the Queen, um, and we did a whole exhibition about about her um, her. 60th for her 60th anniversary and it had Ralph's it didn't have this one no. I don't think you have this one anymore do you do you I have the original no, I don't, know I don't think so no so it exists no I had a very good agent who said for a very good career move is to sell all my w originals and I sold them all for 70 quid each and they all went to <laughs> they all went to uh, Jan Werner you know in the who's now now they've gone to uh, Others, <laughs> others. Stum. Stum, yeah, stum, stum about that. No. <laughs> you see, I don't like this. This is secretive. I want to tell all, you see. I want to name, know, name I and know, shame. I'm here to stop you telling all. <laughs> Otherwise you'll get in trouble.
<laughs> Hello, mate. Right. Ah. So, so, Ralph, this is this is um, born one, under a bad sign, which is a book by Tony Palmer that yes. um, Ralph yeah. did on 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 rock and roll, and you did thirteen illustrations. Yes, that's Jimi Hendrix, isn't it? Yes. So this is one of your collages. Yes. So what got you into the collage, Ralph? It was uh, for an easy life. <laughs> it's it's uh, it made it easier. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, cutting out things and doing doing uh, uh, very detailed things, I could use bits of detailed stuff and put them into a into a free dra free line drawing mm -hmm. or a wash drawing or mix the two. And I found it quite interesting to put those together and do that. Mm -hmm. And I also did, took old Victorian books of machinery and I found that if I could, t you know, those old photocopiers, as it as it copied the picture of a, some very beautiful bit of engineering drawing, I could shove it as it and, and distort it, mm -hmm. and it was the distortion part of it which is part of making it accurate. You know. Well, but that, that's uh, that's something uh, a theme of yours. Where you distort something, you take a medium and you distort yes, it. Yes, but m try to make it look. Um, uh, you make it look as if it, it was real, mm -hmm. you know, and to do it that way. I quite like, it was using the machinery bit. It's like some people today use the computer for all sorts of, you know, their color work and everything. They drop in, they bucket in color, you know. Mm -hmm. And I always want to use wet ink in it. There must be some wet ink in it for anything to work. You know, if I per draw a pair of wet underpants <laughs> or something, you know, yes. I'm trying to think of what gets wet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, so it's got to... But the, the, the active use of water in... Some people use oil, I use water mostly. Or I use, because I've done, I've, I've painted The Last Supper. We'll come to that. Oh, Hold will on. we? Yeah, we will. We will. We'll come oh, to sorry. that. Oh, sorry. We yeah, can't. Yeah. No, I didn't so do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I'm lying through my teeth now, you know that. Yeah. So, so, Rolf, talking about wet ink, this is one where you'd have used lots of wet ink. So this, oh, yes. this is this is from um, The Devil in Texas. Um, yeah. And um, this is our, uh, the book? cover that Ralph did. It was a book by Wolf, uh, uh, Wolf Mankiewicz. Wolf Mankiewicz, yeah. Um, and uh, so... Texas, Ralph. What, what are what's with the mountains? What isn't Texas mountains? <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell me. Uh, well, I saw a program not so long ago, but there were so many flat, sandy areas, and it, it looked it didn't look anything like that. <laughs> so, so, I, so why well, did you do it like that? Well, I was thinking of Colorado. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> See. Oh God, that was that was that was close. <laughs> so so talking talking, you're talking about uh, flat areas. Oh so yeah. this yeah. is this is a still from um, the arena documentary That's with yeah. um, Hunter here on the yeah. left, um, and you on the right. Um, yeah. And uh, that sort of relates to. The next one, which is this drawing that yes, you did. I made a mistake. I got the wrong foot do lifting up. Lifting up. He, has, he, has a, he has a way of standing. He had a, a, a damage to his right leg. And I've done it on his left leg. This is very odd. You know, if you look at it like that. Not that foot, it's that foot was the one that went up off the floor. Very, very odd. He couldn't stand to attention at all. You have I'd do it for you, only. Ralph, I'll do it sometime. Speak into the microphone. Speak up, speak <laughs> okay. So, then we have something different yet again. Yeah. Okay, oh, so. Oh, that's a teddy. Yes, uh, that's a, that, I'm not sure if that was my teddy. I know that Anna had a teddy. That's not your one, is it? Yeah. Because your teddy had only one eye. And I, that one's got, has that got two eyes? I don't know. I think it does, but there is yeah. Teddy. But there's me doing. Uh, do you know? I don't know what that's. What the hell's that for? <laughs> I have no idea what that one's for. 
I don't even know why we put it in, except that... It well, you chose it. I didn't choose it. You did. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think you did, actually. Okay, Teddy and Devil's Own. What's it, what's it Wait, about? you said you were just being perverse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So then Ralph was going to tell you a story a little earlier about um, his I Leonardo book. Oh, um, this yeah. is one of the, the, the drawings from I Leonardo, not one that's in the collections, though there are in the exhibition there are three wonderful ones. So Ralph, do you want to say a little bit about why Leonardo was such an inspiration for you? Well, it was just that he did... Uh, it was uh, Sigmund Freud, actually, that got, gave me the idea for it. When he, he did a... Uh, he described... Leonardo was the man who woke up in the dark. And uh, I wrote a song about that, Give Back My Dream, you know, Don't Throw It Away. And that, um, that seemed rather interesting to go into his life, the man who woke up in the dark, and see what I can find out about and what I can do about that. So I started looking into his life and I went to Vienna and I went to his house in the Ninth District and I went into the consulting room, I, s I saw... But, but Ralph, this is, this is to do with Leonardo. What? Not yes, Ralph, it is. Not Freud. No, I know, but, uh, but I mean, it gets to that. Sorry. Eventually. <laughs> no, but, I mean, the whole idea about drawing, that he would have something like that. He, Freud described him as the man who woke up in the dark because everyone else had, well, as far as we know, there's nobody else who seemed to be thinking like him. He seemed the most extraordinary visionary and inquirer of everything we did. And of course, wanting to fly, he wanted to walk on water. And he uh, would have a drawing machine, I'm sure, like this. And I wanted to do three things that he did. I So this I is one of them? What? This is one of them? <laughs> No, that's not me. That's, uh, <laughs> can't be me. That's <laughs> no, that, no. Leonardo da Vinci drew that. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I did the one behind her. The Last Supper. That's on the bedroom wall, which I used. Um, I, I, did, I, I, I painted it with, the, with egg tempera, which is you take the white of egg and you mix it with your... As I say, you know, there must, it must be a good painting because there are 13 eggs in it. Mm. They said, uh, <laughs> but a cake, <laughs> you know. It's got some. 